For this question, we want to solve the exponential equation 9 to the x equals 8. Before we start solving this equation, I want to take a look at some of the methods that we have available to us. I've got three of the main methods that we typically use for solving exponential equations. The first method is called relating the bases, and sometimes it's called the one-to-one -one property for exponential functions. In this method, you would try to rewrite your equation so that each side has the same base. And once they have the same base, you can say that the exponent on the left is equal to the exponent on the right, giving you a much simpler equation to work out. So this method requires that your exponential equation have the bases be the same on both sides. For the question that we're working with, we have a base of 9 on the left and a base of 8 on the right. Those bases are not the same, but sometimes you can change the base so that they match each other. But in order to change it, we have to have some valid, um, valid way to change it, some equivalent way to change it. So for 9, 9 is equivalent to 3 squared. So we could change the left-hand side to have a base of 3. On the right-hand side, 8 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 cubed, and that would give you a base of 2 on the right. That still wouldn't match each other because we'd have a base of 3 on the left and a base of 2 on the right. And there aren't any other ways that I could change these bases very easily. So that first method of relating the bases will not work for this example. We do have some other methods that will work for us to solve these equations. The first method is converting the exponential equation to a logarithmic equation. We would take an expression like y equals b to the x and rewrite that as a logarithm and we're using the definition of a logarithm to do that. So this is going to require our exponent to be isolated on one side of the equation. Our exponential is isolated on one side of the equation, so we will be able to use that method. So let's try that method. We're going to write this as a logarithm. I would write the word log. I would use a base of 9. Base of 9 is the base of the exponential. The log always equals the exponent, and then 8 is the expression that goes inside the logarithm. And then what we need to do is solve the remaining equation. Now this equation is already solved because we have x equals, and everything on the other side is a number. Log base 9 of 8 can be put in the calculator and work out what that is. So we were able to solve this equation using the second method, but we could have also used the third method. The third method will have us taking the log of both sides. You would start off with y equals b to the x, take the log of both sides, and I typically use natural log, you can use any log you'd like, but I like to use natural log. Once you introduce the natural log, you can use the power rule for logarithms. You can take that power and move it as the coefficient of the log. And once you get that variable out of the exponent, you're allowed to solve for that variable. And we could solve for it by dividing both sides by natural log of b, and you have your solution. So let's try that method on 9 to the x equals 8. You would take the natural log on the left and the natural log on the right. 
Now that you've introduced the logs, you can use the power rule and make this variable x the coefficient on that log. And then you can solve for x by dividing both sides by natural log of 9. And we get the expression, or get the equation, x equals natural log of 8 over natural log of 9. So we were able to solve this equation with the third method as well. As you look at the answers for these two different ways of doing the problem, you can see those answers look a little bit different. However, they are equivalent expressions. And just to kind of confirm that a little bit more, I'm going to bring up our calculator and show you how we can type both of these answers in and they come out to be the same. So the answer on the left has log base 9, so I'll have to use the feature in the math menu. base 9, log base 9 of 8, and that gets us 0.946. The solution on the right is a natural log of 8 divided by natural log of 9, and we also get 0.946. So these, although look like different answers, they are equivalent. We have x equals 0.946 and x equals 0.946. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.